And throughout Disney, uh, even in their golden age, Pinocchio transforming into a donkey, um, the death of Bambi's mother. 42. La ragazza ha cominciato a fare miracoli dopo l'apparizione della Vergine Maria. Lei è qui. Sometimes horror is uh, horror movies are a powerful metaphor um, of our society. Oh, yeah. So in, in your opinion, your movie, what says about today's world? Oh, it was fake news. Um, and that, <laughs> the extraordinary thing is that uh, James Herbert uh, wrote the novel Shrine, upon which our movie is based, back in 1983, and it's the same theme. So what mm-hmm. made our film extremely topical, however, and what made adapting his work now um, so perfect was the fact that the theme is in our zeitgeist. So without wanting to get pretentious, my movie is very much a scary movie, a ghost story, horror movie, front and center. But there is a story here about the effects when a journalist who's supposed to be the Mm. guardian of truth and who is supposed to uh, inform the public, takes that truth, twists it to serve his or her own agenda, what consequences that can have to a community. Now, in our consequences, uh, it's a ghost story. So the consequences are spiritual and demonic and all that. But in the real world, it's hatred. It it is uh, uh, the collapse of our uh, institutions and our systems and distrust. So I think the idea of fake news at the heart of a horror movie is not at all misplaced. Mm -hmm. Uh, Since you are uh, clearly a a huge movie movie lover, movie buff, I was uh, working, uh, having your movie produced by Sam Raimi, that is a huge uh, horror director. It was an absolute dream. Uh, Aside (laughs) from the fact that Sam is a movie god, uh, he is the (laughs) most... He's the nicest person imaginable. I mean, he's this kid from Michigan who happened to become a film director. So it was, you know, I've had, I've had knock on wood, some good luck working with, uh, in all my career, with people who had fame, but who were approachable. Uh, and, but Sam is really super approachable. I mean, he's the guy you can sit down or call at any moment and go, I'm stuck on this scene. How do I work my way around it? And what Sam kind of taught me, that it taught me many, many, many things, but the most important one, which I want to convey for any potential filmmakers out there, is the importance of pre-production. It's that period of time before you actually start shooting, where you, it's the last chance you have of making mistakes and not paying for them. And it was uh, we're, we're sitting down with the heads of your departments, your production design, your costume design, your makeup design, your visual effects, your cinematographer, and going through all the elements and making sure before you show up on set that very first day that all of you know what you're doing, you all know what movie you're on, and you're all rehearsed enough with the makeups, for instance, because makeup takes a long time, prosthetics take a long time. Be as fast as you can. And Marina, our actress, was in that makeup chair for four hours. Uh, In the, before we started shooting, it was six hours. So we managed to cut two hours out of that. Even so, it took a long time, but pre-production, important. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you work a lot with with Disney, and uh, um, Disney. Uh, when we think about Disney, we don't think about horror movies. But in the eighties, we had some some glimpses of horror in in Taron, in the Cauldron, in Basil. Uh, so um, since you you work a lot with Disney, do you think that now we are ready for a Disney classic? horror, horror Disney class, and would you do it? <laughs> uh, I would do it in a shot. It will never happen, but it will never, <laughs> it will, okay. it will, it, well, there's a actually funny story that in the late nineties, Disney actually optioned Clive Barker books. Mm. Clive Barker, of course, wrote Hellraiser. Uh, he had a whole series of fantasy novels called the Imagica books that they optioned. There was never a chance they were going to make them. Because even Clive Barker in fantasy is dark Clive Barker. Let me, let me just say one thing, though. Disney is full of horror, horror moments. The, Snow yeah. White, the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is a dark fantasy at its darkest. I don't think anim, American animation has ever reached the levels of darkness that movie did. And throughout Disney, uh, even in their golden age, Pinocchio transforming into a donkey... Um, the death of Bambi's mother. I mean, the, we don't think in any way, shape, or form of these movies as horror movies, but they contain such horror elements as to scare children 
uh, crazy. And uh, I think that we should recognize that, that uh, Disney has done those things. It's just we don't know that they're horror. Yeah, yeah, like Dumbo's uh, Pink Elephants. Totally. Yeah, it's pre pretty uh, scary yes. too, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got a point, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, really. You're amazing. Thank and you. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio. Il Signore è con te.